Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue where you might be trying to open up a file and you get a digital signature error that says the publisher has been blocked from running the software on your machine. So in this brief tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to resolve this certification revoked error. So it's going to be pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it. So we're going to open up the local group policy editor. So by typing in local group, the best matcher comes up should say edit group policy right here. So you want to proceed to left click on that. And now in the local group policy editor, what we want to do is expand this view a little bit. So you want to left click on administrative templates right here. And then on the right side, you want to go underneath where it says Windows Components, and you want to double click on that. You want to click on where it says Attachment Manager by double clicking on it. So left click on it, double click. Now you want to double click on where it says Inclusion List for Low File Types near the bottom of this list. You want to double click on it. You want to set this to Enabled. So set it to Enabled. And then at the bottom where it says specify low risk extensions, you want to type .exe. And then you want to click on apply and OK at the bottom of this window. It should close the window out. Under state, it should say that it's enabled if you go back and check. Now you want to navigate over to a web browser. So I'm just going to minimize out of the local group policy editor. And I'm just going to open up Microsoft Edge because it's convenient. And then what I'm going to type in is file unsigner should be something that says downloads flux bytes you want to click on that make sure it's the domain that's appearing in this video it's not some other third party site so once you have done that what you want to click on is file unsigner should be the second one at the time of this recording should be 57.6 kilobytes again at the time of this recording so I'm going to download that So then I'm going to left click on open folder. I just want to open the containing folder for this. I'm going to drag it over to the desktop. And then I'm going to right click on it and extract here. So at this point, if you actually have an executable that you're experiencing this issue with, what you would just do is just drag the executable setup installer over this file unsigner program on your desktop. And when it says open with file unsigner, you just release your pressure on the mouse as if you were going to just drag and drop it into here. And what this will do is it'll open up a command line window and that should unsign the specific file as well. So in either case, you should be good. So so like I said again, if you have a program that you're not able to run or execute because of this error and you're still getting it, all you have to do is just drag the executable over this file and signer application and then open it with that application. Keep in mind, don't use a shortcut or something. Don't drag a shortcut over this. You want to make sure it's the real executable. So I do hope this brief video helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.